الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله I thought it would be beneficial and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve us in you and forgive us in you and guide us in you that we <clears throat> benefit from some of the more contemporary ulama and go through something, a very short treatise. We're going to try to finish it while we're on the mountain. And this treatise We'll just look at it in brief because it's dealing with the issues of Aqid and Tawheed. And it was it's very beneficial as it was translated by one of our brothers. <coughs> uh, Abbas Abu Yahya, Hafizullah Ta'ala. And uh, you can find the asl of the treaties on Mirath uh, Publications.net. And so, Ahabatifillah. Uh, These are some statements, extracts, if you will, from Sheikh Hamad Al Ansari, Rahmatullahi Rahmatin, Wasia, and about the concept of Tawheed, because in this time we're in great need, dire need, of talking about Tawheed wa Sunnah wa Aqidah, as we see there are many people from Ahl Bid'ah raising their heads high, raising their heads proud. To belittle the menhaj of the Salaf al Salih. And the menhaj of Salaf al Salih, Habit al is built upon Aqid and Tawheed. And that's why those classical texts like Usul al Itiqad, Ahl al Sunnati wal Jama'ah by Imam al Laqai, Wagayr al Alaka Kathir, so many of them. Kitab al Iman, you know, the Book of Iman, Shar al Sunnah. And so many others that talk about Aqidah. So it's very important in this time that we talk about these concepts.